Well, hi guys, um, Hamad Benesha here from, uh, from undoit.ca. Uh, tout d'abord, un petit coucou, un petit bonjour à nos amis francophones du Québec. Today we have a MacBook Pro uh, model A1398, it's a 15 inch. This machine works perfectly except it had some liquid damage uh, on it and uh, the problem is that when uh, the user closes the lid, the machine doesn't go to sleep as you can see over here. See, it stays on. Let me turn on, turn on the light here. Hopefully you can see it better. See, it's all light up and even when you go all the way down, the machine doesn't turn off, so it doesn't go to sleep and uh, which um, consume the battery fairly quickly and so it becomes a problem because um, it's draining the battery so fast. So I know it was liquid damage, so there is definitely something wrong on the board. We're gonna remove it and hopefully we're gonna uh, find out what's wrong with it and fix it. And uh, let me turn back the light, the light back on. So I'm just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna turn it off quickly. I'm gonna remove the there you go. Now we're gonna take off the, the back cover and remove the battery and then we'll take off the, the logic board and see what's going on with it. If you're new to this uh, channel, um, I've had, uh, my name is Hamad Benesha and uh, I'm a uh, Microsoft Certified Engineer and I'm also an Apple Certified Technician. I've been fixing computers since 1998, so a little over 20 years. And by the last decade, I'm basically fixing the logic board, the MacBooks. So if you have a MacBook and if you're located anywhere in Canada, uh, you can, most of the shipping is free. You can send it to, uh, to us, basically to me, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, take care of it, fix it for you and ship it back. So this machine, like I said, was liquid damaged. And uh, the user said that everything seems to be working fine except for that issue, the sleeping issue. So something to do with the sensors, with the sleeping sensor, I'm pretty sure. I've had similar problems in the past. So first thing first, remove the battery. Always, always, always remove the battery. Okay, and you know that already, just in case you drop a screwdriver, okay, or you, or you drop a screw in here. If the battery is on, you'll definitely have another issue. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the logic board. I'm gonna give you some tips. So, especially in this area over here, when you uh, remove it and when you put it back. Okay, just very careful with the, with the cable. You don't want to damage the cable, okay? Be gentle. And also when you remove the, um, this particular model, you're better off to even remove the DC jack at the same time. So it's missing a screw anyway. So, because if you try, you know, to keep the DC jack here, you might actually damage the cable. So it's better to do, remove the whole thing. Be gentle when you remove the the the, the Wi-Fi um, cables. Okay, you don't want to damage them, but especially, 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 especially the this one over here, the camera. Um, because if you damage the camera, the camera is actually located behind the LCD, so you're in it's a serious problem. So use I use a toothpick or use something gentle that could not damage the, the camera, and then. Take your time, Do, try not to pull on, on the cable like that because if you damage the cable here, well then you need to replace the whole top assembly, the whole the whole LCD assembly. And then that's not really not uh, no longer worth you know the, the repair. 
Okay, so gentle. There you go. And that goes also when you put it back, just use a toothpick because, you know, anything that cannot scratch the board, some people use a, a tweezer or something, that's not a good idea because you could, you could scratch the board, but toothpick or, you know, can, cannot, do the, cannot do any harm. Okay, so let's remove the other key. Speaker, so I'm gonna remove the screws. I'm gonna remove the fan. Okay, screw. Almost done. Those one are fairly easy to remove this model. Once you do a few, you pretty much know how to do it properly. It's fairly easy. Okay, now I'm going to remove the Wi-Fi card. I'm going to show you a tip. Those um, fans, usually they have double tip underneath, so you don't want to, you want to be gentle when you remove them, you don't want to break the cable, okay? So in this case, I usually go like this. And then I, I pull on it like that gently until the double take is out, and then I pull. Okay, okay, now this part over here. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so the board is out. I'm gonna put this aside for now. Okay, but again, like I've done so many of those, I know those models pretty pretty well. I know where so which circuit is. So I know that the backlight, not the backlight, sorry, the um, sleeping sensor is on the other side, is over here. And um, as I suspected, I can see it already. I can see the liquid damage. Let me get closer to the camera, see, see if you can see it. Here it is over here. Okay, you can see the burn there. Okay, so I'm gonna study this. Okay, I'm gonna look the schematic. I'm gonna study it. I know it's um, pretty much uh, upside down, but I'm just gonna double check. Okay, and then I'm gonna compare what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a good working machine. With using my tracker, I'm gonna compare the the, the signals, figure out which one is wrong, which you know which one is is bad. Because because I know everything is working, so there is no need to, to you know to study any any power or anything like that. I know that the backlight is not working. Sorry, in the backlight. Sorry, I keep saying backlight. The sleeping is not working, and the sleeping sensors are here. So the problem is is in here. It's nothing to do with anything else. So I'm just gonna focus on here, and I'm gonna compare it, like I said, with a good working board. Uh, figure out what's wrong. Replace the the bad parts, the bad components. And then we'll try it again. So I'll be right back. As soon as I'm, I, I know more, I will let you know what what was wrong and how I fixed it. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, hi guys, uh, I'm back. So um, basically, I, uh, I used a um, good working motherboard, okay, logic board, to compare the 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 circuit. Okay, so I looked at the, um, all the components that makes that circuit, the sleeping sensors, okay, and the and the area. And I compared pretty much everything. So I compared the resistance on the on, on the resistors. I checked with the tracker the, the 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 signals. I checked the signatures. Okay, and I compared. So I figured out what the problem is. I uh, went ahead. I already fixed it. So basically, there was two problems in in here. There was uh, this. Um, let me see if I can close it. This resistor over here, which is really really small. Okay was um, supposed to be zero ohm, it was not, it was one kilo ohm, so which means it's burn. And there was another problem with this transistor over here, okay? So the signal was not correct, okay? It was not co compared to good working uh, logic board. So I replaced both. Okay, now we're gonna try it and see if the sleeping sensor is working. So let's put, temporarily put back the um, logic board. And then let's see if it's working or not. I'm pretty sure it is because it's not really big. Like I said, this 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 logic board is only this small issue. It's not like there is a, you know charging problems or anything like that. So 
those, those circuits are usually pretty small they're easy to to fix okay so I'm just gonna do it quickly temporarily and then if it's all good I'll uh, close the job put back the board on the screws test it and then uh, send it back Okay, they also to be very gentle. In a lot of cases, they actually end up bending this pin. Okay, and pin number one is actually the backlight. If you if you bend it, there will be no more backlight anymore. So be gentle, very gentle. Okay, put uh, the fan. Okay, just put one screw. Doesn't move. The fan. Okay, same in here. I'm gonna put one screw. Okay, I'm gonna put one screw on the board so the board doesn't move it well. Okay, I'm gonna put this cable back, the IO, the IO board. Okay, the same cable, where is it? Okay, we're back on. Back to it. Okay, that's my hard drive. Normally I will not really put everything back like that because it still needs to be tested but because I rebuilt those circuits and I know them pretty well I'm 99% confident that it's fixed so I will have to undo it again after <coughs> otherwise I will not I will just probably put the keyboard the trackpad uh, the LCD and the one speaker and the, uh, the hard drive and I will test you know make sure it works and in this case like I said because I know I know this circuit pretty well that I'm almost, I um, don't want to sound you know, arrogant by saying 100%, but I'm 90, over 90% 90 sure it's, worth, it's fixed. So I'm just missing this cable over here. Which, uh, the, uh, we don't really need it for testing that anyway. So we're gonna um, turn the machine on. drive so there you go because I don't want to use the client I don't have his password 
he has a guest account but I'll test it with his guest account after just to be safe but uh, I'd rather use uh, my own hard drive for that Again, if you're located anywhere in Canada, okay, and if you have a problem with the MacBook, no matter what it is, just go back on, just go on uh, undo.ca, okay, there is um, a list of problems there, just click on what's closer to your issue, and then uh, you will receive a quote, a free quote on how much it will cost to fix, if you agree and if everything is good, you, you will receive a, a shipping label. All you gotta do is just send it to us and we'll take care, we'll take care of it. Okay. The shipping is uh, free for most repair. Okay, and uh, it's insured, it's trackable. Um, there is additional insurance if you if you want additional insurance. All the packages, are, uh, all the MacBooks are insured $500 in case something go wrong. That's by default. If you need more insurance, there is more insurance. But um, yeah, so if you are, in, as long as you are in Canada. Okay, so we, um, we're back to where we were before. Okay, now we're gonna close the lid, see if he actually goes to sleep. Okay, so let's see, and let me turn off the light again, just for you to see. So as you can see, the light is still on. Okay, now will he go off? There you go, off. Okay, see, completely off. So the sleeper sensor is fixed. Okay, now let's open it. the light comes back on it's possible you will not there you go because it goes uh, both ways if there's a sleeping sensor sometimes um, the, the, the there's if there's a, an issue with the circuit it could be also that when you close the lead okay it goes to sleep but it, when it never wakes up again okay so that's also related to that issue okay or it could be the, the backlight circuit either, either way so yeah, as you can see the problem is, is solved in this case okay uh, it goes to sleep, okay, we're gonna open it one more time, just make sure it wakes up, which it will, because it's fixed, and uh, there you go, you see the light came on, there you go, perfect, and you can see it's all working, again, uh, thank you for watching, I appreciate, I appreciate it, uh, don't forget to subscribe, um, give me a like if you like this video, and um, if you have any question, you can email me service at undoit.ca or you can visit the website and get a free quote uh, undoit.ca. Uh, thank you again for watching. Until the next video, goodbye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are located anywhere in Canada and if you have a MacBook with liquid damage on it and if it no longer works, or if you have a MacBook with a broken LCD, a MacBook with a GPU problem, a MacBook that stopped working all by itself and no longer powers up, a MacBook that does not charge, a MacBook with no backlight or a black screen, a MacBook with a USB-C, USB, HDMI ports not working, a MacBook that requires a new trackpad or new keyboard, a MacBook with a flashing folder, whatever it is, you name it, we can undo it. The shipping is free for almost repairs no matter where you are located in Canada so make sure to visit undoit.ca if you have a MacBook problem. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.